hello and welcome to my channel finally uh, this arrived to me uh, this is the jellyfish palette with the owl cover i just prefer this one uh, over the jellyfish palette and it arrived to me two days ago i already posted a video uh, with swatches and also comparing with the elephant palette now um, this is stunning uh, i am obsessed about uh, hourglass uh, powders as you know this packaging is also very very beautiful on the back you have the shades uh, here you have like two finishing powder one bronzer two blushes and one uh, highlighter and um, from the swatches i think this will be my preferred one i did order all three of these but from some reason and i ordered them the day that uh, they launch uh, on the website but from some reason they will be shipped uh, individually so this is the first one that i got hopefully the two others will are on the way palette uh, retails for $90 and um, I uh, recently discovered that actually the size of the pen in here it's exactly the size of the travel size that they sell uh, it's more with 0 0.1 grams so there uh, that one's here retails almost like 35 euros and if you multiply by six it's uh, <clears throat> uh around 210 euros or something so this is 90 uh dollars it is an expensive uh, palette of course it is nice that you have everything that you need in here because this year hourglass actually uh, decided to uh, complete the look and put in every of this palette uh, bronzer blush highlighter and uh, finishing powders uh, because these are finishing powders, they are not sitting powders. So, in my opinion, these are actually worth the money, especially these ones. You get everything what you need in here. They are travel friendly, they are very small, you can take uh, with you. And uh, I mean, this is more than enough, it will last you forever. Um, and if you never tried uh, the hourglass uh, powders or blushes or uh, anything from hourglass, this is a great opportunity for you to actually uh, try them. I have the butterfly palette, which actually was the lightest palette from last year. And this one is the jellyfish. And you can see them side by side. Uh, this one from last year, it was the only one that didn't have bronzer inside. So it has two blushes, finishing powder and highlighter. And I think two of them, or at least two of them, you can uh, use it as a highlighter. And in here you have the bronzer. So I already have my foundation on. I use this one in shade NC15. This is from MAC, their newest uh, foundation, Studio Radiance. Uh, it is really really nice. Uh, then I use the concealer from Petmograph in uh, Air 2 and I have set my under eye area with this uh, under eye blush which is the finest powder to set your eyes uh, under eye area. It is amazing. For half of the face I will be using this one from here. And then for the other half of my face, I will be using the uh, butterfly palette. Now in this year we have a bronzer, so definitely the look will be different because uh, on the other side we do not have a bronzer and I will not use it. Um, so I'm, I will be using this from Petmograph. Uh, I recently uh, bought, it was on sale, the entire set. And let's apply the bronzer. Now it is nice that you actually have a mirror in here that um, I can use when I um, am doing my makeup. So let's apply this. So this is the bronzer 
from this year it is very i mean you can apply in a subtle manner it just gives the nice warm on the face and it is not orangey so this palette i think uh, i think uh, i probably will not show on deeper skin tone even more than uh, now i am more uh, lighter on the face so i think this one will be uh, like the one that i will get the most use i apply it very sheer now for the blushes i will take first uh, this one which is like the lightest with the brush from hourglass uh, you know already this is my loved one uh, i also purchased the new limited edition with the snake packaging it's not here yet so yeah uh, so i will be taking this one from here and this is because i want to see how this looks on me at first so you can see this is more like on the pink peachy side almost i don't know but it looks beautifully it gives like the most amazing uh, subtle blush and it is also shown on the camera i did not apply too much so this is like the lightest one because now i want to take uh, this one which is actually uh, more deeper from here and i want to apply it a little bit up and actually to be honest in real life you cannot tell that these are like two different kind of blushes and this I noticed also from uh, the swatches that I made so now if I were to take them on my hand and just swatch a little bit this is how they look you can see that this one the lighter one has more uh, luminosity to it and this is more like a little bit darker but uh, how they shown on the skin you can see here it's almost the same and even on my face it looks almost the same now let's take the highlighter from here and I will be careful with this because I saw some reviews and this is pigmented. So let's apply this. I took just a little bit, but you can see this gives like a beautiful, it's more like a pink, silver pink. I don't know how to explain this, but it is visible on the skin. Now this it is shiny and I think if you have like texture skin it will bring everything up. Um, usually I if I apply highlighter I apply it in a very sheer way. I not really a highlighter person uh, but this is actually nice and one thing about this palette usually I sometimes uh, when I have only this, when I'm traveling, I will be using this also on my eyes. Um, so this is the highlighter on top of the blushes and the bronzer. It does give like a subtle look. I did not uh, boil this up to be very, very strong. Uh, because, uh, I don't know, I think it is shown exactly on the skin and it's very subtle very nice for day-to-day -day use because actually you want to be able to use this in day-to-day -day life not for the camera also take uh, this brush and i will mix them and this is supposed to just blend everything in and give you that beautiful like glow all, all over and these are like um, you can already see that on the half where I applied they give this uh, luminosity let's say and 
I don't know, it just brings everything in place. Now, of course, uh, you can build this up how much darker you want. Uh, the brushes, the bronzers. I do love this one and I think it will be my preferred. I mean, um, on the winter time, I'm more lighter on the skin. So this, I think, will be perfect for me. Now, what I don't like about this, the blushes, they are too similar. Uh, in my opinion, at least. But this is like a very nice palette. Now, that being said, and here we have the jellyfish uh, palette. Let's use uh, the blushes and the palette from the uh, butterfly one. This is how it looks. So let's start applying the blushes from here. I will be taking this blush from here. Let's apply this. I don't know if it is the, br the brush that I'm using, but, or I just took a little bit too much. But this is pigmented, I think, more pigmented than the one from the jellyfish or maybe it's just me and now from up i will be taking this one from here uh, from the corner and i will just be placing this here this on the skin looks uh, pretty similar if you were to ask me. The finishing powders that are exactly from the jellyfish uh, palette are these two and we have two highlighter actually in here and I think I will be taking uh, this one first and applying to my face. And this on top of the blushes, it is not as like if I apply more, this is how they will actually look. And this side of my face, it is more uh, textured, let's say. So it does emphasize a little bit the texture on the skin. But I mean, if it weren't for the bronzer, and if I were to go out like this, you cannot even tell that I'm wearing two different palettes. Uh, and just for the fun, I will be adding a little bit of this. Uh, just to see how it is because this I think it's more like yeah this is more bronzy silvery let's say this is more pinky this um, the one from here is more pinky the one from here it's more like on the bronze side for finishing my face I'll just be mixing these two I mean, they are the same as in the butter on the jellyfish palette. So you can see that they give instant that kind of uh, shine. And we blend kind of everything in here. It is like everything that I have in here without the bronzer. Now, uh, just for the video, I can add a little bit more of the bronzer from here because it's kind of blend in just for the camera purpose but I think now it is like more visible these are uh, this is the finished look with the butterfly palette and the jellyfish palette uh, in my opinion if you were to ask me they look very different and here applied on the face you cannot even tell that i'm wearing two different face palette uh, this is just my opinion i'm looking in the mirror in real life and 
if I were to ask anyone, they will not say I'm wearing two different palettes. Of course, the only difference is that this one has a bronzer. So if you didn't purchase this last year and you want this, this is a nice palette. Otherwise, if you have this and you have like any other bronzer, I think, in my opinion, you don't need this one. Of course, uh, it is a very beautiful palette. I don't regret having it. Um, beautiful packaging. I mean, the marketing in here, it is amazing. Uh, I think uh, companies realize uh, in our days that people are buying more packaging than the actual product that's in here. So yeah, it is a marketing strategy. Uh, but from my point of view, if you want, uh, like this is the jellyfish with oval cover. I know it's confusing, but uh, yeah. Um, if you have the butterfly palette from last year, um, in my opinion, you don't need this one. Uh, this is my uh, sincere um, review. Now, if you don't have any of these palettes, if you are new to Hourglass, if you want to try, this is actually a very nice palette. It works for light skin, I think. Maybe medium, light, medium. I don't know if this bronzer will show up from medium to dark uh, skin tones, but you can choose from the uh, leopard, I think. And the other one is the snake. The snake is the deepest one and has the newest, uh, five newest shade. I mean, this has three new shades, but I don't know. Uh, it feels very, very similar on the face applied. Uh, of course, not identical, but very, very uh, similar. Uh, so, yes. So this was my video regarding the jellyfish palette. I don't regret buying it. It is nice for traveling. In my opinion, it is worth the money. Uh, the powders in here are like anything else that I ever tried. I have the uh, butterfly palette from last year. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, this is the jellyfish and this is the butterfly without the bronzer because they didn't include it a bronzer last year, but I'm sure you I mean, you can replace this bronzer with anything from your collection. Now, if you want to have a bronzer or so in your palette and you are like my skin tone, this is the one for you and you want to buy it. I mean, in the end, it's, uh, I think it's more of the preference and actually choice if you want to buy it or not. Um, I am just here to um, review and to show how it looks on my skin. Uh, from my opinion, uh, the blushes look very similar. Of course, the highlighter, I think this one looks more like wet. Um, but they, they are very similar, if you ask me. I mean, I cannot even tell that I wear two different palettes from two different years. Uh, but this one has a plus, has a bronzer, so it's all in one. You just pack it and take it with you if you want to travel. Uh, it is very, very nice. Uh, and this was my video. Um, I hope uh, I it was helpful for you. If I didn't uh, tell something, please write me in the comments. Uh, I will link also the video with the swatches from the boat palettes that I did two days ago and uh, yeah, I will link everything that I use in my description box. Um, the links that are in there are affiliate links. So if you buy through them, you help my channel, you'll pay the same price, but just it helps me um, gaining some commission. And that being said, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.